Dr. Sexton back in my office. I want to talk to you today about fasting and type 2 diabetes. Uh, first, I want to mention two studies that I came across. One was from the University of Southern California, and they studied rats. These rats did not produce leptin. Leptin is what helps us stop eating when we get full. They did not produce leptin, and so they would engorge themselves until they became obese and that's right, type 2 diabetic. So, they did the study now with these diabetic rats. They restricted their diet for four days and unrestricted diet for seven. And they would do this off and on. And after some time, not only did the rats lose weight, their blood sugar levels became normal, but the pancreas, which was not functioning properly to begin with, now was functioning properly and producing insulin so that these rats had normal blood sugar levels. The second study was with humans, and we always like those ones because we're human. Uh, this one involved 12 participants who only ate breakfast and lunch. By default, they naturally restricted their calories that way, but the point was they skipped dinner and their glucose levels went down, their glucagon went down, their C-peptide went down, their weight went down all more so than another group who simply ate six meals a day with restricted the same restricted calories. So the point is the fasting was a better therapy and it is a better therapy. I've seen it with my own eyes. There's people that uh, at True North, one man in particular, I remember his blood sugar was consistently 140, 150 and, and we'd check it every day, fasting blood glucose. Well, he was fasting, so that wasn't hard. but. Finally, after a few days, that blood sugar just, it just started gradually coming down. And it was only natural because he was not eating. And your body's amazing at recycling. And so it goes through and it consumes all that extra sugar. And guess else, what else was working? The receptors on his cells, the insulin receptors, were now visible and viable and working. And so that sugar, that insulin would come along and, and the sugar would be drawn into the cell. And now blood vessel, vessels were at a normal level of blood sugar and and I saw this time and time again fasting is the therapy we can't we can't live our lives without eating food so it's it's a wonderful jump start but you could also just eat healthy I have a patient right now with she had metabolic syndrome started seeing her in December and now is April she is no longer she had high cholesterol high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes taking insulin it was that out of control she has now lost 30 pounds she does not take insulin she does not take her blood pressure medication and she does not take a statin she's off all her medications she's feeling great but guess what her treatment was we changed her diet we eliminated some food allergens and she's exercising she feels good about herself so it doesn't take fasting, but fasting is a wonderful approach and a wonderful therapy. So I don't discourage it. I encourage everyone who has any sort of chronic disease to look into it and ask your naturopathic doctor for their advice. All right, we'll see you again next time. Thank you so much. Remember, fasting is wonderful. Don't be afraid.